Hi class, so what I want to do in this um, video is walk you through challenge exercise 7.2.3. And if you'll notice when you tackle this problem, it's going to say there's three problems. I'm going to do problem number two so that it can be the same. So the first thing it says is click this link to download the spreadsheet for this activity. So when you do, you have all these spreadsheets and the, the, all these different sheets will open up. And you have to pay real close attention in the problem. For this one, it says use sheet five of the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so I know I'm going to use this right here. Okay, this sheet right here. So it says a hunger relief organization is trying to determine the lowest likely proportion of the local population that lives within two miles of a grocery store. So a random sample of 50 local citizens was polled. Okay, so the first thing it says, um, they, remember what they're trying to do is live within two miles of a grocery store. So what I'm going to do to help me here is I'm actually just going to delete the first row. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort the data. So I want the people to be um, within two miles. Okay. So it looks like that's 11 of the 50. Okay. So my X here, if you look, because the, these are the yeses. My X is 11 and my N is the 50 people. That means my P hat is 11 divided by 50, which gets me 0 0.22. Oh, sorry. I clicked check before I had the rest filled in. So 0 0.22. Okay, so it says, uh, what is the upper bound for this confidence interval? So what they want is they want a 95% confidence interval. So that's my Z star right here. So what I need next is my margin of error. Well, it's equal to, so it's 95% confidence interval. So it's 1.960 times the square root SQRT of P hat times one minus P hat divided by N and there's 50 people. So it looks like my margin of error here is 0 0.1148 and so on. So it says, what is the upper bound? So the upper bound, you would take your p hat and you would add your margin of error. So you get 0 0.33, looks like five when I round it here to three decimal places. And so it says, now what is the lower bound? Well, the lower bound is you take your p hat and you minus your margin of error. And you see here, this is 0 0.105. So what we're saying here, the organization can say that 95% with 95% confidence that the true population proportion of the local population that lives within two miles of the grocery store, well, is in the interval, it's somewhere between 0 0.105 and 0 0.335. And what it's saying is the lowest likely proportion, well, that's the lower bound here, 0 0.0 or 0 0.105. Sorry, I've been hitting enter all the time here, but yeah, you can see I got it now. So again, all this here was, it's just like the videos I've done for the previous sections, just with you know all the challenge activities that ended in, in section or in module seven here it just had the the extra task of asking you to actually go into the data and count the x but then otherwise the formulas have been exactly the same all right class if you have any questions you know just uh, let me know in the chat or by email